YouTubers, Farm Boy Reef here. So on today's episode of Coral Friday, I picked up a beautiful specimen for you guys. It's been in the tank, it's been acclimating for about an hour now, and um, I've been uh, looking around for this uh, species for a while now. Um, what I end up getting is a, an orange sea fan. This sea fan um, has beautiful uh, white polyps on it. You can tell it's a very healthy uh, coral. I've been watching this one for a while now, and today was the day that I was gonna purchase it and uh, share it with you guys. Um, so with this coral, it's uh, non-photosynthetic. Uh, so what this means is it doesn't like uh, too much intense light. So I have to put it in an area, maybe it's sort of under a cliff where it can have a little bit of moderate light, you know what I mean? And so it has a little bit. But the one other thing you have to be careful of is if it gets too much light, it can grow uh, an algae on its skin, end up killing this coral. So you want to make sure it have enough flow on it. It likes flow, moderate flow, so you want to put it in that location. Um, these are these corals are more of an expert coral to look after because uh, if it's non synthetic it doesn't mean it feeds itself uh, using your, your lighting um, so one thing you have to do is you have to make sure to feed it a few times a week to make sure, make sure it survives you know what I mean feed it a uh, mysis shrimp or some uh, reef roids as well put it in the water column and it'll definitely take off a lot better guys so I'm pretty excited to show you guys this coral um, it's a very nice piece it's got a lot of branching out the one thing uh, with the sea fans as well, if you ever uh, start up uh, like a seahorse tank, these are very uh, rarely, you always see them in the, the seahorse tanks where they wrap their tail around. It's very amazing. Eventually I'd like to get a seahorse tank in this specimen if I can uh, frag it. Maybe I'll get it in their tank and the, the seahorses ca can live in it. So let's take this coral out of the bag and we're going to get it mounted up. Um, the application I'm going to mount with this one is probably going to be the putty and a little bit of the glue application. Um, I have an area here in the tank that I'm going to place it so it's not in, directly in the light because we don't want that. We don't want an algae growing on its polyps and killing this coral. So let's end up, let's go ahead. We're going to mount this coral up, guys, and then uh, we'll check it out, show you guys up close and personal um, this coral. Um, it's going to be a very nice addition to my tank. Very excited to have it. And um, hopefully for years to come, it'll grow and I can frag it up and uh, give it out to my friends, guys. So let's go ahead. Let's get it out of the bag and uh, we're going to get it mounted up. All right guys, so let's take uh, the sea fan down to the lab and we're gonna coral dip it and see if we get any pests come off. And then we'll just bring it upstairs and let's mount it in the tank and we'll see how it looks, guys. All right guys, so I made it down to the lab. Um, I got the sea fan down here. I end up, I just uh, used my uh, Revive uh, Coral Dip, guys. I end up uh, adding it to my water. Uh, one thing, before you add uh, your coral to your main display tank, always make sure to uh, rinse your coral about three times with some of your aquarium water. And uh, just make sure it's all rinsed up. You don't want to get it into your tank. So we got the sea fan right here right now. Um, I'm going to show you guys up close and personal what it looks like. It's the orange with white polyps on it. I'll show you guys. See how beautiful that is? That's a really nice specimen. That's a beautiful nice sea fan there. You guys can see it. And all his polyps are uh, white. So I'm going to put it right here in the Coral Revive dip for 15 minutes. And then we'll see if we get any pests come off guys. We want to make sure you don't get any pests in our tank. Um, one thing with uh, with these corals as well, sometimes if you, you can see algae growing on them, it's better just to uh, take your finger along and just uh, slowly rub the algae off. They can get uh, bunched up with a lot of debris sometimes, so it's good to keep up, keep all your corals like that clean, guys. So uh, I'm gonna bring you guys up close. You guys can check it out, see if we see any guys, pests. So here's on. the sea fan. See how beautiful it is? It's got like the orange yellow body to it. And then you can see uh, every little red spot on it right there. That's where the white polyp comes out of. It's really beautiful. It looks almost like uh, snowflakes on them but you guys can see so right now it's been in here about five minutes I haven't seen any pests at all there's a little bit of algae on there so I'm just gonna end up cleaning that off so it doesn't go into my display tank did you guys can see a little bit of hair algae growing on it but that's what I mean with these corals they're acceptable to getting algae on them so it's good sometimes you have to you know run your finger along it a little bit and clean that algae off guys all right so let's let this uh, Let's let this sit for another 10 minutes and then well, we're going to rinse it and then we'll take it upstairs guys. Alright guys, so uh, the sea fan's been in here about 15 minutes now. As I'm looking, I don't see any pests at all so it's another uh, great piece. There's no pests on this one. You always want to make sure you don't have any flatworms. Just by them filling up the bag, hitting another coral, you could get a flatworm in there or something and then they could spread and take over your tank. As soon as you get those flatworms, they're a real pain to get out of there guys. So this one's looking really clean. So I just wanted to say uh, thank you to Aqua Valley in Ottawa where I picked up my uh, corals for every Coral Friday. Uh, really amazing store, great guy, lots of great information. You guys can learn a lot from him. And you can uh, hit him up on his website, guys. I will leave uh, his card at the end of the show, guys. So let's uh, let's rinse this coral three times. Then we'll take it upstairs and then we're gonna uh, where we're gonna mount it and what we're gonna use to mount it, guys. So the algae that was on its branches, I'm just, I'm just taking here and I'm just taking my fingers and slowly pulling. You guys can see, 
See that little bit of algae on there? I'm just taking that off. Clean this coral up. We don't need it in the display tank. All right, guys, so made up to the, to the display tank. So I end up, we're gonna use the application and we're gonna use the two part uh, Aquascape uh, putty and uh, glue. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of the, the, the epoxy around the bottom and then mold it right into the rock. Uh, I think this will be the best application for this. I have a great location here. It's just a little bit of moderate light, but not much because we don't want that algae growing on its skin. So I'm gonna mount that up guys and I'm gonna show you guys where it is and then hopefully the polyps will open up on it and then you guys can see the nice white polyps. It looks just like snow. It's a very beautiful piece and I'm very happy to get that. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount that guys and then we'll be right back. Well, before I get started, I'll show you guys how to use this uh, application with the putty. So here's your two, here's your two uh, putties here. You got your purple and your green. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off about the same amount. Let's say, let's take about an inch on each side. So you take these two pieces, flip the other parts away. So you take your two pieces guys and then you're gonna, you take them and you're gonna mold them together until they look like coralline algae, that purple. So you just keep, uh, just keep molding it away. It's really malleable. So you just keep doing that. Just keep mixing that up until you got it to the right consistency you guys want. So you, all you see is just the purple. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it, take your coral and you're gonna imprint the bottom of the base of your coral into it. So when you have that, you know, the groove right there, you pour the glue in there, push the coral back in, mold it around a little bit, and this will definitely hold a lot better. It won't just flow it off or get kicked off by your fish. So you just keep molding that up, do your imprint, put your coral glue in there, place it in, and then mold around it, and then shove this piece into the rock. It's definitely a better uh, application this way, and then they don't uh, go flying off into your tank. All right, guys? All right, guys, so I got the sea fan. I got it all mounted up. Um, I think I got in a great location. It's got just enough flow and it's got just enough light. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, where I ended up mounting it and we're gonna turn the blues down. We'll see if it pops, not really sure because there's not too much uh, photosynthetic algae uh, growing in the skin, but you never know. But we'll turn those lights down anyway. But this is a great coral. Um, I've been looking for this one for a while now and it's a really great uh, specimen piece. So let's bring you guys up close and personal. Let's check it out, all right? So there's the sea fan. I got it all mounted up, you guys can see all the polyps on there, look how uh, beautiful they are. You guys can see that? It just looks like just like snow. I'll see if I can bring you guys in even closer to the polyps. You guys see how white they are? They look like little snowflakes. That's a beautiful piece. So let's let's start, I got the Radeon uh, Reef Lake open right now. So let's, uh, so let's start bringing the blues down. So let's take the reds right down to zero. Let's take our greens down. Let's take our cool whites. So now we're into the blues, guys. So it is popping a bit. It looks pretty good. So let's take our blues right down. So now we just have it to royal blue. That's amazing looking uh, specimen right there. So there you go, guys. So there's a little bit of, you can see the the blues on it. So let's bring them back up. But that's the, that's the sea fan, guys. It's a beautiful piece. All right, guys. So there's another episode of Coral Friday. I hope you guys like this coral as much as I do. So please subscribe, hit the like button. You never know what coral I'm going to have next week for you guys. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.